the bottom part, I can read it clearly. The top part has dark blue with black text. It's a bit difficult to read. Earlier, I showed that the black text on dark blue background, that just wasn't clear for me. On their support site, which is essentially just a product page, scroll towards the end and you'll see the firmware and software. It's all for Windows. I do have the change notes for it. Let me just zoom in a bit. And that's gonna change the text color from black to white. I think that would help with the viewing of the LCD screen. There's some of the other items that this firmware addresses. I'm on a Mac, but what I do have is a virtual machine. And on this virtual machine, I've already placed the, the tool, update software, and here's the firmware. And let me just pop the camera on. A... As for this item here, I'm going to loosen this just so I can expose the programming port. This is the cable that came with it. And I'm going to slide this in, tighten the screw so this stays in place. On the other end of the cable, I'm just going to plug it into my computer. I'm going to open up Device Manager. The Device Manager doesn't see it just yet. In my virtual machine, I need to allow the USB. So essentially, it's this. My USB, I'm going to choose this. Once I choose it, under COM ports, right here, if I expand it, it shows up as COM3. Then I'm going to go back to their tool, run their tool. Click the drop down for the port. I'm gonna choose COM3 and choose update. So now I'm gonna press and hold the talk button and also the shortcut key one, the one with the one dot. Then I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna let go of the buttons. And we can see that it's now writing the information to the radio. On a Windows computer, it will be even easier. If I had a Windows computer, I would not need to mount the device, the USB device, separately. And that would be just automatic. But as for pressing the talk button and the SK-1, the shortcut key one button, that I, you'll have to do regardless if it's Mac or Windows in order to put the radio into update mode. Great, that's a successful. And right away the item reboot, and we can see that now the text, it's white instead of black. So I mean, just shut off power to the radio. I can unplug the USB if I want. On the software, I just hit OK, and I can just close it. There. Now for the radio, I'm going to remove the programming cable. So now if I turn this on, that's much better.